ez a Gidura után. Ahogy ígértem, Minecraft Story Mode második év volt, keverkedik. És most tartom az ígéretemet, ezt nagyon hamar le akarom zárni. Nézdőt is kellett meghoznom. Végigjátszottam ezt már korábban, viszont... Tíz videó lesz ebből a másik évadból, az ebből tizenhat, most tíz. És akkor teljesen meg ez a teltejké. És is ugyanis bemodett, mert itt oldosak akarom megcsinálni. Az importálás aztán nem igazán működik, de itt van olyan Kofi Julio Story, és így egyszer Végig néztem. És a Creeper volt, hogy választottam. Megmentette Gabriel-t. Elfogadta a Magnus páncélját. A ház maradt. Tám volt a Tom Harbert. Kivéve vidéje, vidéje, si mi sem vidéte. Nejtěn kozu už jsem. Já ti kozu. Tady je to fejzí, a stane ne. Nejde. Hát legalább vele akkor nem fejlődni. Nincs. Hát régi tetszett az első évad. Ajánlom, hogy második is van legyen. Csak a legjobb. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck, and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend their fame just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? <laughs> well, I'm proud of it. I will look into the embellishments, though. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read a founding day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. It took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. 
For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Well, I mean, I am the leader, you guys. It's just the way it happened. If you say so. Yeah, kind of self-centered, though. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. So <laughs> I know, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled? Well, you you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah, uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Wow, I had no idea you guys had gotten so lame. <laughs> Come on, we're not lame. I mean, Gucci. you're a little lame. Axel! But, seriously, you have your life and so do we. Uh, None uh, of us can just drop everything and go uh, adventuring uh, like uh, uh, to. Tell Petra I said, we next have to time for it. sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. Ah, <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Uh, there you go. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. yeah this has been stuff. great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, uh, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Minecraft story mode. Masha the evil. Guess it. adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Jesse, dude! Mel! 
thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store oh, your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic. House over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Uh, a blank canvas. Hmm. I don't know. My God. That's amazing. This one with the original outfit and the damn summit. Estoy bien, ya voy a ir. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, just a little bit. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we're going to each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. <laughs> it's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. 
Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Okay. Here, wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Hey, kid, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Yeah, I'm first time because I'm interested interested so cool. Maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. It seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. That's the other thing I've But they all look exactly the same? What? No, they... I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their offended little faces. Sorry, I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. <laughs> Come on, boys. Sugar, nice. <laughs> and here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life, spitting in fate's eye. Just stop worrying so much, would you? Stop, Never don't stop speak. worrying. I can do that. It's so simple, just stop worrying. Am I oversimplifying it? I'll, I'll work on it. Bye, have a good time. Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Pet. 
Petra, where are you? Zombie! Zombie. Oh, I miss this. <coughs> oh, smell not so much. Don't you get my use? I'm watching about to be turned. Get a bottle. Look at that. Punctual and kicking no butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, I am not rusty. <laughs> oh yeah? Says the scrub wearing iron armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you are. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Why do you eat, uh, Donkey Kong? Oh, don't. appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. I don't think you should. No, it's not. What can I say? My public adores me. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. I'm just glad you're here with me now. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties, Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... ...is writing, I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See, I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? Yeah, the it's racing. monster hunting time! Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. I have a sim. Oh, boss, you can't get to the boy in bed. Oh, my. Get down! It's gonna blow! You can't see the DNT. You look me so. Huh. Woo! All right. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Oh, my God. 
ülök vissza. Nem nyomtam el a tán, amikor délre nyomtam. Ezt most miért csinálja? Vissza lök engem. Hülye kamera! Kidobja az egerem. Kidobja az egerem. Miért dobja ki? Na, menj már elő! Monster. Let's stand up, Yoki. was just to track down a stupid llama? Is it brutal? Brutal. It's not just a stupid llama. It's uh it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama or uh it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. 
doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, llama. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. Lock up the boss. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. This is a fox, yeah. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? I thought I'd work here, I'm just a hot pellet, but it's a good kill of you, take it out. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I'm high, yeah. Sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. Prismarine. Prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. <clears throat> Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Now 
What the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah. <laughs> heck mouth. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? No, you play. Here's a key thing. Yep. Wow, that is well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, I agree. get that going. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Rather, the okay, cool. On uh, second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. I've got some down here, too. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning. Yeah, Mr. Bishke, Kim. Let's check. Hmm, that is I'm gonna pay Valve. Work, kick Valve. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? I think it's a sort of. Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in like monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was. That was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Yes, the llama I love people. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that, that heck mouth. Well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's... Uh, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure sniffing llama. Her. She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra, and I don't let bullies go being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. I'm going to Paris.
Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. If you're the Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I don't know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's Money really plus manipulative, this, right? See. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people, she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build it. Beacon Towners. <laughs> you probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. Oh, come on, you. My darling, you Luna. came home. You came back. Yeah, my tengo que ir aquí, uh, Pepe, cara. Could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl, Stella. Oh, look who it is, Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Emma. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> and, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me. Remember, in exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? 
Oh dear, Petra, sweetie. Did when exactly were you going to tell me about this? Soon, I swear. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Hey, you're the one who decided to live here. I... yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. That's sneaky. What? Oh, oh. I think we can mess. handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that that is so cute. cute. Oh no! How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Oh, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Then we'll do G2 on here. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Gets embarrassing. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? It was a god. Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. You, you should not be here. 
This, this is, a uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Raw. Feels so good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know <laughs> I don't deserve this back. Yeah, we done, babe. You really disappointed me, Petra. Don't do it again, okay? I won't. I won't. I'm gonna make it up to you. I swear. My Maggie. What is that? Sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap sword. Sorry, I got God. you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. Wasn't so awesome. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. through the ground first your prismarine gauntlet then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers we need to get to jack's fast Jack, yeah, i hope thing. this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does he does he's gotta come on i'll show you the way do you like this amazing welcome to bad luck alley Wow, I d didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh, sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. I did the one. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He's once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it.
Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Best of a Crags of Doom? It's just like I told you. Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Maybe a little. Aw, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. <laughs> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to I see think. a hero that knows their own worth. <sighs> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the ground finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. <sighs> Cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? I Whoa! It's a like it. Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did. Uh, you can, can't you? Uh, found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with like a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So we're gonna get well, one of these structure the blocks. Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. I think I can pull my bomb on the case. No, no, really no chill. problem. Guys, this is Nerm. My other half. No, he is the genius the behind yeah, all of our yeah. fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Yeah, that's oh, all yes. So I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, 
Your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm, okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, yeah. I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's Let's missing it because... I, uh... Yeah, kind of... Kind of yeah, I, get I threw it into a volcano, okay? I don't think what? Why? You yeah. didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I no, swore I wouldn't uh, take anyone off to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends, Voss and Sammy, to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what? What I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is... My curse. Hmm. Heavy. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Okay, yeah. Well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado, me, and gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. That's so open. Well, I think it's gonna be awesome. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Admin. Oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, old lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. Huh. I didn't know you villagers went on adventures. <laughs> yeah, most don't. <laughs> you know, I remember when we first met, we had that. Well, that's another story for another day. All you gotta know is there's no one else I'd rather have by my side. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port... Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. 
There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework oh, Union. Them. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway, they'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for Founding Day related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I uh, see you brought the... friends. Thank you, man. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Okay, gone. gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling okay, what can happen. Stage. And I have so few details. I am very nervous Where's about this. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... This is... Try not to explode. No! Ah! So Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, <laughs> where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some oh, pretty cool fancy. stuff here. Stuff I've never, I've probably only seen you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Yeah, well, Definitely cool. on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but uh, you know, real, a real I'm great so swing. A strong, silent walk. Another good step. Nice. Hey, wait. Is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Saying that. <laughs> old town. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? He does. Uh -huh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. All the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. 
You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. So I leapt off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah. Pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. Okay. It's really far from here. I love it. Now so awkward. It's almost certain death. I wouldn't have it any other way. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. All right. Before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Wait, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. What's that mean, Chinato? The what? <sighs> Supposedly, he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So you think it's, what, made up? Hmm. One thing I do know, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can awesome. feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going okay. to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples that way. How? Compass. Right. Oh, that's so cool.
Veszélyesekedik. Állatok ide találkoztam, és elutálatosan. Sure that we have all our limbs. How about we find that structure block? A structure block could come at all. Eh, that's a great catch-up solo. Hmm. Hmm. I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. These are not normal. Let me see. Pretty uh, impressive, right, Petra? If you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep. Completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this ever again. Hmm? What did he say? He said, uh, he agrees. And that you're super lucky to be here with me. My brain can barely process them as statues, they're so big. Right? And what's up with their faces? They, they don't even look, you know, like people. I know. I hate them. Mm. Uh, no, Nerm. There's nothing wrong with not people. Come on, jeez. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to the city. I, uh, I'm going to need a sec. There you go. Just to... Check my enchantments. Yeah, make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa! It's uh, got me, like uh, frozen in place. I don't care if you're swimming through a potion of slowness. Move your feet, Jack. You're being dumb. What? Yeah, you're right. I'm better than this. I am better than this. Guys, hey, hey, I found something. Thought he saw me. Uh, be right there. Hey, uh, let's uh just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some. Has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Just don't let it happen again, all right? <sighs> of course I won't. What kind of scrub do you think I am? <laughs> I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. I guess we should talk, Estude. What's keeping you guys? Uh, 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 I'm my call about nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Just do what I do, and you'll be fine, all right? Oh, really? I, yeah. Yeah, you're the boss. Very reason. Yes. Ah! 
passé. was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to test. see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. So I asked you if he said. Jack? Is that uh dark prismarine? Or something like it. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. My my don't. Alright, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the guardians are in. Water? Floating in midair? That should be impossible. Mm. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. As we said, mm. oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys, hmm. Why are you being so fighty, Jack? Come on. Because I refuse to believe that there's some all-powerful dude running around playing games with my life. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that's yes, take I out the guardians. Dibs on yes, that job. Yes, you do. Those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go. Concentrate. Hey, laser lips. Oh boy. Woo! What's it like being ugly and bad at your job? So sorry. Hmm. Oh. Hey, care to explain yourself, Jack? I don't have to explain my. Oh. You're right. I really messed up. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Dobra, 20 perc, mi biztos, ha el fog telni. De már volt. Köszi is. Hmm. Dark Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Van Dark Prismarine? Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. If there's nothing I can craft that can help me, not of yet. Of course, I'll find the temple on it. Okay. 
Let's get it. Mine! Cinco cores. Voilà. Je voulais voir qu'est-ce que c'est ici. Sea lantern, nice. Mais il y a juste quelque chose ici. Köszönjük be a ezt kell meg figyelni, és az alapján de megítélni a dolgot. És kész! Csak hogy nem az a kinek mondja már. It has it has been a very very long time. Vars. Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Vars. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. But Jack said he saw you die. It must have been one of the vile traits of this temple. Surely you must have seen how it is. Anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. You are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Okay, yeah, Gina. what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. Uh, even I'll admit. It would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh, more of those weird statues. I guess, At least these ones aren't doing so that look. creepy head thing. Yeah, 
Okay, guys, structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess? Maybe it is. <sighs> Creepy. I feel like this is important, but I don't really know why. Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nurmi says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious monarchy. This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. Looks just like the one we saw underground. A structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Hmm. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. <laughs> That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. Hey, get Kevin. Fascinating. Yeah. What does it all mean? Still figuring that out. Well, no. That was the Tower of the Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's for sure. I see. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Yeah, I can't believe we got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no. Please work, please work, please work, please work! 
will die. Hello, Jesse. Talk your bunny. Here they come. Come on, I'll show you what we did to our enemies in Pergatka. Still behind me, Nerf? Get ready, you guys. I think you're all cool because of how tall you are, huh? Proud of how tall you are? Ez nem lehet tovább volna. Nem Nem lehet. Nem lehet. Miért nem találhat? In your face! Woohoo! Met metaphorically. Spool told. Why hello? Uh hi. Die now. Igen, meg ölt a rohadt. Itt az 
izé lezárni ezt a felketlen gödröt. That's really the end of it? Ah, huh. certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. Vig. people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back? Thank goodness. This is... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. So people cool. all need things approved. Or help with building. Or wrangling animals. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I'm back, huh? You seem a little frazzled. Oh, yeah. It's been a frazzling time. So, did you find what you were searching for? That's right, everyone. I brought this back for all of you. We're going to use it to keep building to make every founding day even bigger and more awesome than the last. Ez a egy pontos biztos, hogy le van zárva. Not bad, right? I think they really liked it. Yeah, they did. Congratulations. I haven't seen a celebration like this since that crazy summer I spent with the party people of Kayak Tam. Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. Uh, sorry, I'm still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. Uh, oh, like a more yeah. call, yeah. That was an excellent sword. Could have used a grander name, though. No offense. Come on, Patrick, it was just a sword. Just make a new one. I mean, yeah, but I had to put hours, weeks into making that one. All oh, those enchantments. Uh, never mind. I guess you just don't get it. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Boss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? Yeah, wait up. Damn, Still don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. Dimitri, okay. Boss, man. What's that? Whoa! Who did get me to get that wall? Yes, terrifying. Yeah. What was it? That's a great map, but the one most classic is that it's Igor's hand. 
Oh no. Jesse. Jesse. It's gonna have to die. You thought you could just run away from the admin. <laughs> You've really got my attention now. Oh, you may say. Let's go to the next episode, Hero in Residence.
Lukas meglátta azt a... Sikerült. De nem kell akkor itt meg kell tőle egy halál. Egész végig. Csak egyszer történt meg, hogy ő. Itál Jesse. De nem ebben a víz. Jól van. Ennyi volt mára. Elközelebb nővel folytatjuk, és fel Andrit és Tudisért hozok, mint előzőleg. Ennyi volt mára. Szevasztok.